Josh685 and Jason Derulo's Savage Love was one of the biggest songs of 2020, hitting number one in more than 15 countries, sparking a viral TikTok dance, and even a remix from BTS. Savage Love, did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Looking like an angel, but you're Savage Love. I made it in July when I just came in from school one day. I was only 16 when I just first started making beats and all that. High schooler Josh Wendanai, better known as Josh685, had no idea he'd made a global hit when he produced the beat from his bedroom in Manurewa, New Zealand. Genius News spoke to Josh685 about how he brought the sound of his neighborhood streets to catch on around the world. It was just last year in February, that's when I just started like playing around, making beats just for fun on the side of school. When Josh made the beat, he wasn't trying to make a hit. He was actually making a siren jam. A beat blasted through actual sirens. <laughs> and used in siren battles to outdo competitors' car or bike sound systems. When the beat's about to drop on a song, they wait, and as soon as the beat drops, they flip the switch, so it just blasts on beat. The style of music is a thriving part of youth culture in New Zealand and Australia, especially among its many Polynesian communities. You've got Afro in it, you've got Louis Vuitton, you've got reggae, you've got like a bunch of different vibes and different styles combined to make a sound jam. Josh is using his music to bring attention to his own Samoan and Cook Island community and culture, even with the number in his stage name, Josh685, which is the calling code of Samoa. A lot of people like to talk down on my area and all that. I like to take the name up and put it on the high put as uh, as much as I can. Just five months into his beat making hobby, after school one day, Josh uploaded a track to his YouTube titled Laxed Siren Beat. I just thought I'd call it Lax because it was relaxed. There was someone else who uploaded the song to TikTok. I made you all like messaging me saying, look at your song, it's starting to blow up on TikTok and all that. There, Laxed became the theme song of the culture dance, with users celebrating their heritage and traditional clothing and choreo synced to Josh's beat. Me ripping my culture at the same time and just seeing my some blob of people representing theirs was just a blessing. Jimmy Fallon, J. Lo, Lizzo, just seeing it was a shocking, so I just had me acting like a little fanboy. Still, despite the attention his track was getting, Josh wasn't getting the props he deserved. This other lady that had uploaded it, it wasn't me. She said it was her use sound and all that, so no one really knew who I was. As it grew, the instrumental caught the attention of a popular singer turned big time TikTok influencer. Jason the ruler, I think he just came across it and just saw it blowing up. Just wanted to put a little twist to it. When you kiss me, I know you don't get two fucks, but I still want that. Yes, I I was able to track him down and um, I, yeah, I was like, you know, I, I, I love, I love the beat. You know, I, I want to create a whole song to it. That's how Lax's siren beat became Savage Love. The problem was that Derulo teased his new version of the track initially without crediting Josh, which upset many fans online. Reports say Derulo was already in talks to do a remix, but quote, didn't wait for a sign off and went rogue. I was pretty excited, but at the same time, I was kind of, you know, I was like, oh, man, I didn't know people he was going to release it that early, but just still glad on how it turned out, to be honest. <laughs> Luckily, Derulo put out his version right as Josh was finalizing his contract with Columbia, one of the many labels who tracked down Josh when his beat went viral. They made sure Josh685 and the title of his song were properly attributed across TikTok. Derulo's version of the song also received an official release. Was it really important for you to get your name as one of the artist names? Like next to Jason. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I made sure my name was um before his. Maybe I hope that this ain't karma cause I get around. You wanna run it up? I wanna lock it down. The song went number one on the Hot 100. Savage Love has already been streamed more than a billion times and is 2020's top song on TikTok. When it came time to shoot the music video, Josh used it as another opportunity to rep where he's from. Representing my cultures, representing my area, my neighborhood, had my friends and my family in my video. Everything that I liked and loved like, and grew up around all into one video so I could take it to the world. Savage Love went so global that even BTS, the biggest act in K-pop, did a remix. Looking like an angel but you savage love when you kiss me, I know you don't get too fast, but I still want that you savage love. More than anywhere, Josh has become a star in his South Auckland hometown. It's just funny and pretty shocking that I don't know if people want to have photos of you going out in public. A lot of teachers are more nice <laughs> now. In September, Josh released another high profile collaboration with electronic pop singer Lau and rapper Tyga called Sweet and Sour. After a life changing breakthrough in the industry, Josh's proudest moment is achieving a long time goal unrelated to music. By my family at home, yeah. That's probably the first thing I've ever wanted to do, like even before like all this music thing blew up. Like I was planning to just 
do what like warehouse work. That was my biggest achievement for me is just getting a house for my family. You got that real rapid lifestyle now. You got your mom a house, man. That's incredible, man. Good for you. Thank you, man. I'm Russell Abad with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music.